Hello, Dobby Trofer again and welcome to another video. Uh, this time another video game related video. And this and this time it's uh, something Sega related. Uh, sorry, so it is. And um, this thing is actually about obviously a very uh, famous franchise for most people. The Shenmue games, the Shenmue series. And I've also got the Xbox version of Shenmue 2. Now <laughs> The the series as a whole um, is is definitely a worthwhile series for most people. I think um, you know Sega did something really really well with this, um, and it's it's a very interesting uh, franchise. Now it's not about the franchise as a whole. This video it's about um, my thoughts and opinions about um, Shenmue HD happening um, hopefully in the um, you know the near future. But first, I'm actually going to mention about my um, uh, my opinions with this franchise. Now, I'll just put. <coughs> now, um, I never originally played the, sh the first Shenmue when it came out. Uh, I was five years old, but um, um, I was I'd say I was pretty too young to play it. But interestingly enough, I do remember um, vividly. I do remember seeing it in um, the video game in, in game game UK, and um, I remember I was with my uncle looking at stuff, and around the time the Dreamcast was still commercially relevant, and they had this game Shenmue. Now I didn't know what, what the heck it was because of the fact I saw it saw it really quickly, and then you know we looked at something else, and. Since getting back into the Dreamcast, um, I really, really wanted to get into this uh, series because a lot of people really, really like Shenmue. Um, it's it's a cult classic. Lots of people like it, and I think for the time it was very, um, it was something new. It was something interesting, and it really made you think. This is absolutely brilliant, and it is a really, really good game because I actually played this last year. Um, I actually um, started playing it in July last year um, because I heard a lot of people say, you know, this is really, really good. And um, back then, as I said, when I saw this, um, I never originally saw the second one on Dreamcast because us in Europe and Japan got uh, the second one on the Dreamcast, whereas the Americans missed out, but I'll attempt to talk about it later on. So... Originally, as I said, I never saw the second one, but I actually saw the second one on the Xbox. And I remember when my uncle was really into the original Xbox, you know, around the Halo time and stuff. Um, I saw this game and I never knew it was on the Dreamcast at first. Because around that time, the drink, around that, this time when this came out, uh, first in 2003, the Dreamcast was pretty much a lost cause. You know, no one really, a lot of people, uh, you know, were getting rid of them. You know, it was always PS2, GameCube or Xbox. And I remember seeing this and I thought, oh, it's that, it looked similar, to, you know, to the first one on the Dreamcast. And then, you know, obviously years later, I um, I did find a copy on, uh, you know, the Dreamcast version. I heard that that this was actually on the Dreamcast and I never knew this at first. Yeah, um, which is a really, really good game. Now, I'll just talk about, so now I'll talk about... Um, why I think um, the first two Shenmue games, well obviously, the first the, the two Shenmue games need to be re-released. Now, the games have been out for a very long, very, very long time. Um, the first one, you know, uh, was released in 1999 in Japan first, and 2000 uh, worldwide. The um, Shenmue, the second one on Dreamcast launched in 2001, for both Japan and Europe, and then you have the Xbox version of Shenmue 2, which launched in America first in 2002, and for Europe in 2003. And it's interesting how it is now. The reason I'd say that Shenmue HD really needs to happen so badly is due to the fact that these games are very, very old. You know, total's been about over 15 years, or 16 over this year. And with a franchise like Shenmue since the announcement of Shenmue 3, it has really made people think that this is a really, really good franchise. And now both games uh, on the Dreamcast are ridiculously expensive. 
Um, actually, I'll just put them in, sorry. Um, both games are really, really expensive. And for those that really, really want to play it, you know, you will be spending lots of money if you want the two games, if you want to get both games. And there are other, there are like, there are alternatives, obviously. But I'll, I'll talk about the reasons why an HD remake or um, HD re-release needs to happen for both, for both the PlayStation 4 and the PC since the game's coming out on both those platforms. <coughs> the games are, as I just said, um, again, sorry. The games are old and um, people who really, really want to play the franchise will prefer to play it on a much more modern console. And with that, it can cause a lot of problems because a lot of people, especially like the younger generation, um, I've done this in the past but not with video games, that if you get into something and someone introduces you to the older remakes, or the, sorry, the older re versions, most most of those young people may say, no, I, I prefer the new ones, I, I don't want to go to the old ones. Because they might think, oh, it, may, it might make me look a bit old or it might make me feel old-fashioned. And that's not the case. I think um, if you want to play these games, you've got to play them, if you really want to originally, if you want to play them the first time, play them the original way. So if you want to play Shenmue 1 and 2, so if you want to play, yeah, if you want to play Shenmue 1 and 2, Expect to get the Dreamcast versions because of one thing, the transfer feature. When you <coughs> finish, fi sorry, finish. <laughs> when you finish Shenmue One, um, the third disc. Um, once you complete the whole thing, um, all the data, the transfer, all all the data is actually transferred to the second one. So you go from the first one, uh, Shenmue One Disc Three, to Shenmue Two, Shenmue Two Disc One. And with that, it feels like it's a whole story, like it's real life. And that is one thing that can really make you think that it feels like it's like a continuation, like a program, like a novel, um, film, uh, comic book series, anything that's a continuation. Doctor Who, as I said, I don't mean to go on Doctor Who, but it's the same way, you know. It started in 1963. It got cancelled in 1989. You also had the in-betweens. Um, you had the 30th anniversary. Then you had the television film, which was originally supposed to be a whole new continuity. The film flopped. No series was made. Doctor Who came back in 2005. A few years later, it was, a, it was announced that the film was actually part of its continuity. So it goes on and on, even if there's like breaks and hiatuses. And that's what really makes Shenmue an interesting... A franchise is it feels like real life and it really really does now the problem with when Sega released the franchise was that of course the first one was a Dreamcast exclusive it was, it was released worldwide <laughs> but the second one was released on two different platforms the Dreamcast version and the Xbox version now for us in Japan and Europe we got the second one on the Dreamcast so it, it was easy it was good for us to get the franchise, so we played the first one, we could transfer the data from the first and then to the second, and then you know everything was good. <laughs> but the Americans really, really got screwed with the second one because around the time when Sega um, was really tanking on the Dreamcast, um, they had a lot of plans um, to um, you know release their games on other consoles. Um, and then once that happened, once they became a third party, after they discontinued the Dreamcast in March 2001, um, they were making games uh, for, you know, the PlayStation 2, the Xbox and the GameCube, as well as the handout, you know, the, well, the main one is, was the Game Boy Advance. And um, the, so, <laughs> around that time when Microsoft was uh, coming into the gaming um, industry with the original Xbox, um, they asked third party companies as well as Sega about uh, trying to get you know exclusive games for their console and one of them was Shenmue 2. Um, so what ended up happening was that Sega, mainly Peter Moore, who gets a lot of rubbish which I do understand for the Americans, uh, really cancelled the American release of Shenmue 2 for the Dreamcast. So what they so what he did was that around the time that um, when he um, quit his job at Sega, he actually um, 
I, well, he actually interviewed, um, he was interviewed by Microsoft for the same position he did at Sega. And one of the games he did was bring Shenmue 2 to the Amer Americans. Now the problem with Shenmue 2 is that uh, the Americans could not do the transfer feature because the, the first one was on Dreamcast and the second one was on the Xbox. And that transfer feature was absolutely, you know, impossible. You know, you can't just play, you know, the first one and then, you know, play the second one and you try and do some sort of PC transfer thing. It does, it, it does not work like that. And that was a bit of a problem. So most people in the US, a lot of video game stars actually imported um, our version of Shenmue 2 for Dreamcast. So then, you know, if I, oh, we're, we're getting, you know, Shenmue 2. Um, but originally, you could not do the transfer feature due to the region, um, different regions. Since in America, they use NTSC, and us in Europe, we use uh, PAL. Um, but they were over... Um, interesting ideas that were created, like, I think there was a boot disc that I heard that was created where you put it in the Dreamcast uh, for the Americans and it actually transfers and changes the um, region from NTSC to PAL, which made it interesting. Now another reason, um, now another question people always wonder about, well, why was the, the Xbox version, you know, made? As I just said, because of the fact um, Save America cancelled um, the Dreamcast version for the Xbox version. And one thing that was interesting that they did with this was they actually bundled the um, game with a bonus DVD called Shenmue the Movie, or, or Shenmue, the Shenmue film. And what this was, was for new fans to get into the, the Shenmue franchise. If you never played the first one, it gives you a bit of a sense and a feeling of what happened in the first game. Um, which I think is a really, really nice idea that, you know, they did that. But the problem is, is that you do not get to fully experience it if you play the game. Um, and the reason they did that was because of the fact was the first game was not uh, ported to the original Xbox. And I honestly think if Sega and Microsoft actually did a little deal back then to actually port the first game to the Xbox as well, I think, honestly, it would have been a really, really good deal, especially for the Americans, because, oh, well, you know, Shenmue 1 has been part of the Xbox, Shenmue 2 as well, so you get, like, the, you know, like, the, the actual feeling of it, which is really, really good. But without, uh, but with, since there was no Shenmue 1 on the original Xbox, they actually added, like, features that were in the second one to put in this version. And I think it's a shame because, um, since the announcement of Shenmue 3, a lot of people have always been wondering, um, will there ever be a Shenmue HD? And the reason it should happen is, is merely the transfer feature. And if they, if, if, the, if Sega did not give you Suzuki the license for the first two Shenmue games, despite in making it with Sega at the time, it's just going to be another Shenmue 2 on the Xbox. And I don't mean, uh, you know, be, to be mean about it or be condescending. Because we, if they don't re-release the first two on the PlayStation 4 on the PC, it's not going to feel the same, you know, it's like going from the first game to the second game and then, you know, you got the third game and, you know, that's it. Um, it feels like there's like breaks in between. You think, well, what about the breaks in between? What happens there? And I kind of feel sorry for that because um, a lot of people do give this lot, version a lot of rubbish because of the fact that there was no Shenmue 1. And I, I would say it's a really, really good version for, for what it is. It's just, you know, fantastic. Now I'll go about on the you know the ways to play Shenmue. Now, obviously, you know, again, Shenmue one on the Dreamcast, and you've got Shenmue, sorry, Shenmue two on the Dreamcast. This is always like the original way of playing it because you get to experience it. You know, you play the first one, play the second one, everything is doing well. It. It's really really good. <coughs> the third, the second way, I think is. To experience it on the Xbox. Now, this is actually a really, really good, sorry, a good, good alternative because you get to experience the franchise. You know, you can um, watch the film, experience it, and then play the second one, and you you do get that little, you, you do get that bit of sense, and I think it's really, really good. But it misses out a lot of Shenmue One. Um, but I'd say it's a good alternative to play 